Okay, Let, let's see if it lasts. Um, yeah, okay, let's let's get back into it. Your uh, chamferix. Uh, yeah, let's talk about LPL for example. That that's that's a topic that I want to talk about. The one that I highlighted here, which is something that I want to write about next. So, IG won worlds in twenty eighteen. FPX won Worlds now in 2019, so I think it's reasonable that Western fan would want to start watching the league more, but it's not as easy. And I would, I, I was, ans I was asking, I was wondering, um, why are you going through topics from bottom to top? Because I bank on unexpectations. So you expect something, and I reverse them. Yeah, so <clears throat> it's it's just counterintuitive. It it adds a level of surprise to the to the viewership. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's not easy to follow LPL. Why? Okay. First thing, there are too many matches. There are really a, a, a huge amount of matches because teams are like uh, getting more and more. LPL had 16 teams throughout uh, 2019 and two more are going to join the league. So it will be 18 teams for 2020. It's like a football league by this time. And the games are so many that they actually don't play double round robin. They have only single round robin, best of three. But still, you meet a team only once per split before playoffs. So that's like only one chance to beat them. You've got to really prepare well and you can't sandbag. You can't like uh, throw games intentionally just to train, which it was very common in previous splits. So yeah, um, that what happens is that with so many teams, so many games to play, broadcast and casters cannot keep up literally and they don't stream all the games only a part of the games are streamed and and like the good matches are chosen and they will be broadcasted to english everything else will be streamed on a separate stream which is in chinese and you can find it on like lpl.qq.com uh, which is in chinese so following even just one team, let alone the whole league, is going to be very hard because uh, half of the matches, probably even more than that, will be streamed in Chinese, which is like not as easy to access for a Western fan. So that's the first disclaimer. The second disclaimer is that um, teams are much more mobile than uh, Western teams. First example is with uh, like LCS because um, every LPL team has an academy and um, in LDL and they are uh, encouraged not only not only allowed but encouraged to bring players from LDL up to LPL like with a with a day's notice so no announcement hey you get in just just play a game okay. So that's insane, the amount of space that they let the rookies uh, have. For example, IG played with Leian for a most part of the, of the like, before the playoffs and then playoffs. So the most part of summer, IG played with Leian, who was a rookie. So that's an insane thing. And it gets harder to track when you have 18 teams who, on a whim, just swap a players in or out with their sister team so it's really hard to track it bonus a lot of new players come in and there's a lot of talent and a lot of surprising plays so it's it's a bit hard to track like how how i am a fan of of this team um with their players changing so much it's I, I understand it's not easy at all so um another another uh hello cameron it's it's weather oh hello weather 
uh, nice that I'm talking to English so you can understand. I'm talking about LPL, so you might be interested. Ask any questions if you want. So another very hard thing is the time zone. The time zone is um, plus eight hours to Europe, which moves it to the morning. Usually starts at 10 or 11 a.m., which is like school time or work time for most like millennials like us. So, um, and for NA fans like weather, it, it's even harder because they play in the night. So it's, it's not easy at all to, to follow LPL. One more thing that makes it even harder is that it's at the same time of LCK and historically LCK Broadcast has done a better job on keeping their fans uh, involved. So whenever a fan decides, should I watch LPL or LCK, they're always going to watch LCK because they, they, yeah, they got used to the broadcast and um, yeah, the strongest region, narrative and so on. This might change this time because, yeah, Papa Smithy is not a caster anymore and, and yeah, uh, Korea is not the best region anymore. Sorry, not sorry, but, like, yeah, there are more teams, uh, uh, sorry, there are more reasons now than ever to watch, uh, to watch LPL. And, 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 yeah, one very common comparison that was made, as Stamlam says, is that Papa Smithy was leagues above any other LPL casters. I love Papa Smithy, but I think it's unfair to make a comparison with Raz, who had an insane showing uh, both at MSI and at Worlds. He has great analytical skills, he is an insane caster, and hysterics, which is like play-by-play, -play, we fans call it like the Chinese medic, Chinese uh, Captain Flowers. He's not Chinese, he's Australian, but like he casts LPL, so he's Chinese by inheritance. And he's a very good caster. And there are a lot of content made by Clement Chu, who translate, makes interview with his double like uh, language knowledge. He is uh, Taiwanese, so he can speak both Mandarin and, and English very well and he produces quite a lot of content uh, for Western fans in English, so it's really it's really good. Papa Smithy's voice, Papa Smithy will be a real blunder to, to miss because uh, I think just as Deficio, for example, he and Rusty, which, who casted LPL, but he's probably going to cast again next year, so I think uh, he will, will be uh, like a big drop in, in LCK casting quality, especially because they are going to look for a new caster who for sure is not going to be on the same level. It's like not offensive, but Papa Smithy was like a literal pillar of the cast. So it's going to be hard to replace it. Um, yeah, and Okay, after the semi-finals that we watched, Invictus Gaming versus FPX, one might think that all LPL games are going to be at that level. Let's say, most likely yes, but the, there are, there is like a huge difference between the top teams and the bottom teams. Why is that? Because you have like 16 players, I'm talking about 2019, I don't know, about 2020 and rumors, but like they have like six teams who were at a really, really good level and basically any of them could have went to Worlds, could have gone to Worlds on a good day, so that's how good they were. But the other 12, sorry, the other 10 were really garbage they were like insane bad games really ugly to watch and pg nationals would have been better so yeah there are good games among top teams but everything else is hard to go through so watch the good games if you can be careful with like games like omg versus vici gaming so don't skip those skip those yeah, the good thing is that with 18 teams, uh, the top teams are able to keep their talent. They're going to have the moment, uh, sorry, the money 
to keep a good roster with high level players in every position but bottom teams are not going to be able to do that and good players will be picked up by better teams so if they're lucky they will scout one or two good players here and there and have like over five players they will have one or two they're decent they can hold their own but like the rest of the roster is like hard to to carry so yeah bottom teams have some moments of brilliance but like in general it's 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 hard that they can compete with the top so th there's a huge difference among the the, the the top teams and the bottom teams so yeah an advice would be start with uh the good matches at the top of the table that would be like if you want to start watching lpl do that first and then you choose a team and just like follow him follow that uh, over the matches Okay, so that question is gone, good. I will also uh, write an article about it because <clears throat> I feel many people would would like to need to like learn. Yeah, because it, you can just tune, tune into LCK and just watch it. Even if you don't like LS, you just mute it and, and you can enjoy the games. But LPL is very different because of many variables that I talked about, so it's not as uh, trivial uh, as a uh, as you might expect okay <clears throat> this is a really hard one so <clears throat> if you want to ask me any question this is a good moment <clears throat> also questions about beer are okay and yeah I've been a fan of the LPL since 2015 like basically what I did is was just like picking a team which was WE at the moment and it was really bad team which is in hindsight a stupid choice but I don't regret it uh, and follow it through the matches it was pretty hard at the time because I had to go through a lot of matches somewhere in Chinese somewhere in a stupid time it was not easy and after one year I learned all the tricks about you know watching LPL yeah so I think I think it was it was great a bit hard but still uh, I would would love to share my experience with someone that wants to get into watching the LPL and and yeah, maybe you can enjoy the LPL as much as I did without taking one year to learn how to do that. Yeah, that that I, I would like to talk with more people, especially on Twitter, uh, about LPL because it's it's a great league. It's the greatest league at the moment. There's no even there's no argument against it. It's like the best region. Full stop. G two is great. Yes. Uh, other teams in Europe not so much but like while FPX is great other teams in the LPL are almost as great so Evan coach Valito here yeah, well let give him time to fail he's not done enough to, to fail yet I will not take this beer again I don't like it I like the honey beer but not the not that one so would you I, 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 viewers in the chat chatters in the view would you watch LPL now that um, it has uh, like imposed him himself as a as a better region yeah bitter beers I prefer bitter beers I especially like the very you know dark ones that you can see through and this is a bit lighter one fluent in english yeah uh i don't know i, I didn't write it in my resume but I, I think i'm like almost almost too fluency i i still mispronounce some words here and there but like it doesn't matter would you watch lpl and if yes what team would you watch don't say invictus gaming please don't make me sad we among lpl fans we share a common hate to Invictus Gaming because it's a really like smug team 
don't be an IG hater. I am an IG hater. It was in the in the contract when I, when I when I started watching WE. It was in the contract like, hey, if you watch WE, you, you can't be a WE fan if you don't hate IG and uh, EDG at least. So yeah, that, that that came with that. So I had no choice. Contract is not BLG. Oh God, please, uh, BLG have basically nothing of IMA in 2019 but until they drop Jin Zhao I'm hating on them because that guy what is still a witness of eliminating us from Worlds in 2016 so Jin Zhao has to be dropped before I start uh, seeing BLG as a neutral uh, team I hope they just bring some random ADC for 2020 because I, like, they could have been a good team and they were like Schalke, yeah. They just played correct sort of League of Legends, very slow, methodical. Uzi is going to retire most probably and it would be lovely for Royal if Uzi retires. It's like it's about goddamn time. Yay, Imperio of Ohio. Welcome. Um, yeah, uh, I, I would love if Royal dropped Uzi because it, I don't, I won't say that it's the reason they lost at Worlds, but when Royal are in a pinch, uh, they default to just feed Uzi, which is not going to work, and it's never worked when they were in a pinch, not in 2018 Worlds, not in finals. Um, in summer spring, sorry, in summer 2019 and not worlds now because I, I know watching them through summer split they can play through solo lanes they can just like leave Uzi in the bot lane just to farm and, and, and play the game yeah, without being the main carry they can do that but when they are in a difficult position they just don't think about what they can do they just like default to feed Uzi and it doesn't work and it's never worked and I think it's moment it's it's a good moment to rebuild will it be easy it won't for shit like it, it's going to be very hard because uh, because it's royal they won't be able to just move away from Uzi in a simple way so it's going to be hard but like I, I think they can do well if, if they try that move plus Uzi's uh, condition is very like hard at the moment so better if it takes some like one or two split pause and maybe if it gets better with his arms he can get back to playing competitively if you're wondering what am i like uh shaking through it's just like a, a, a bottle opener did i just need to play with something while i'm talking yeah um his arms won't be better ever at this point. It, sadly, I think uh, I, I I agree because uh, he strained um, his arms, and the doctor said that he is like a fifty years old. So that's a pretty much a point of no return. But you never know. Like human body, maybe he recovers. And but with your mustache, like a real Italian. It's so weird because I remember in spring 2018 when they were the insane team, they were giving Ezreal to Uzi and roaming with Soup and Young. Uh, I don't remember exactly the meta, yeah, but they did a great job of not relying on Uzi. And then it was game 5 versus G2 if for some, for some reason they decided to give Uzi Siver and it failed so spectacularly. It ended MLXG's career. Like... I no sh no shit like if I was MLXG I would be pissed as well he was given nocturne with the instruction of just ganking boat and how do you do that it's not okay and yeah it 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 was a hard loss but like it gave them a blueprint don't just rely on UZ and they did it again it did it, they did it again this year so I'm stunned year off would be good yeah would you fire Royals coaching stuff? Let me just look through through your Royals coaching stuff because I like, uh, is it steak? I'm sure it's steak, but I don't know about the analysts. So let me just check for a second. 
steak I think steak has done a good job overall um, and uh, I think he's a good coach um, I don't think it's his fault if Royal just default to Uzi maybe it's it's Uzi that despite the authority of the coaches uh, decide like he states let me carry this game and then it fails so it might be that green tea dandy and Chang He are other coaches that's an insane coaching stuff I don't think you would find a better coaching stuff in LPL if not for FPX so coaching stuff is great I don't know the what's behind the scenes of what's the work of green tea and dandy but I won't blame the coaching staff for the what this team has missed on this year fucking dandy yeah I was surprised as well hmm <clears throat> they need a coach just for drafts it might be useful they for sure have the money that would allow them to expand on the staff um, and I'm pretty sure if Yuzi retires, whatever AD carry uh, sub like takes his place would be like cheaper. So, yeah, unless it's like as rumored that Jackie Love goes to Royal. There, that's no source on that, but it would be lovely for Royal if that happened. Why do all their junglers int if they have Dandy as coach? That's a good question. I absolutely loved Karsa through uh, Summer Split. He was like the standout player of Royal and single-handedly won games that should, that should have been lost. But then at Worlds he didn't perform at all and he was much worse than, than the Karsa that we saw in Summer Split. And Karsa pretty much left Royal, so... That's going to be, it, it, it's, it will be harder, it will be hard to replace Uzi, it will be harder to replace Karza because uh, they, 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 there are a lot of good AD um, in China, but they're, the junglers that are really good, they are not so much. And the good ones, which are like, uh, imagine Ning in 2018, he was so great and then he, he became... <laughs> A meme he's a meme now and people would just want him out of IG and he was world's MVP last year so Tian might do the same meteor might do the same so it, it's hard to rely on jungle talent in LPL while AD carries are much more more like you know performing so yeah, uh, replacing Karsa will be hard. And are there good options? I think uh, if I, I would love if they brought in Meteor because Lanshing and Xiaohu can be good aggressive solo laners. Karsa was not much uh, of an invader, if I remember correctly, the games I, I remember. But Meteor, Meteor is insane, he's a huge playmaker and if he wasn't stuck on, on BLG, he could be at the same level of Tian. I'm not joking, he's a really good jungler, just happened to be in a team that did not have a high ceiling. So I, I think he might do well to, to move away from BLG, not out of BLG hate, like seriously. Uzi into top lane, uh, or into top lane or into T Tess like top top esports. Top esports would be well, their bot lane is garbage, like really garbage. Like really, the only reason why they missed worlds because night is insane. Three six nine is really good f to be a rookie. Like wow. And, and the jungler XX, he, he plays basically, he's a, I like to call him uh, LPL Memento because he has quite high, la, uh, high highs and quite low lows, like he fucks up sometimes and loses the game on its own, but when he does perform well, he's a very like methodic controlling jungler with a player like Knight and 369, he can do really well. The idea of having Loken and Ban 
could have been good because you don't need an 80 carry a superstar 80 carry for that team you just need a bot lane that survives but Logan and Ben couldn't even do that so that was pretty embarrassing to watch Uzi in that team in my my opinion is that it would like completely uh, break the synergy of the team but it, it might also work I, I, I think the bottling has to be changed for, for that team to work really well so yeah that that's that's what I think I, I won't I wouldn't like Uzi as the first option maybe like take some really really safe ad carry jin Zhao would be great jin Zhao, yeah i don't have a high opinion of jin Zhao for many reasons he is not a good ad carry in 2019 but he can play safe if you tell him to do so and and that's what top lane uh, sorry top esports needs he, he just need an ad carry to survive knight will carry anyway i'm opening some weird like apple chips i don't know uh, uh, I just saw them uh, at the store and I, I, I liked them. But Uzi, like, uh, I mean, as much as I know that LPL fans love uh, love um, Uzi, I think it's it would be nice for for them to take a pause. Sorry for him. Wow, they're so good. Mm. Okay. So let's now uh, I will answer to LPL questions again if you if you want to ask more, but I want to do something different which is like new format for you masters. Well, new format, let, let's say, it will be hard to show on stream because I'm still noob, but like new regional league distribution would be really helpful for for Europe. So the, the, it's very confusing what's going to happen in, in Europe amateur league because ESL, will not um, be the tournament organizers uh, for EU Masters. So everything might change. The two most likely options are that Riot takes EU Masters or that LVP um, takes EU Masters. So the same, the same uh, producer that has um, LVP, sorry, yeah, Super League Orange, the, the, the Orange, and that is in Spain so basically it could mean that the format changes in an unpredictable way that would be hard to talk about but I, I think they will be good if they change it something mm, okay so what I want to do now is let, let's let's try to do something like that mm, in maps yeah. So let me do this thing. Screen capture. Okay. Let's put it. Uh, no. Second one. Have patience. I'm just like bringing in a map. Don't worry. Um, Porca merda. Did I just fuck up the stream? No. Okay, so let's bring this into main. Yeah. Yeah. Just bear with me for a second. I want to I want to talk about EU. Don't leave me. Have patience for a second. Yo, that's okay. Okay. Professional stream. Yeah, let's go dude Can you see a map if can you see a map? I hope so Varsa great city Okay, that's too zoomed out. Okay, that's reasonable fuck Iceland, but we don't need that one 
Um, yeah, give me the chat back. Okay. Hello, Crincy, Ohio. So, yeah. What I would like to see is a different mm, way to split the leagues because 13 leagues in the Europe, um, European regional leagues are a stupid, a really, a really stupid number. It's hard to plan around the number, a prime number with a 16, sorry, 13. Um, so I would like things to be changed around a bit. So I would take, um, yeah, uh, okay, Spain, which is now at the moment independent, I would merge it with Portugal to make Iberian League, yes. Why that? Okay, the first and the main reason is that Portugal is not is not a league and at, at the moment. It's not really like we in Italy complain a lot about un, an instability and and low salaries and uh, really unprofessional things. But Portugal Portugal is in a dire state and there are players who take less than 50 euros per month to play competitively. That is not sustainable and they won't, they won't have any chance to grow further. So what, you, what do you do? You give the chance to Portuguese player to have a very bright future in some team in Spain. Because if you play in Portugal, it's very difficult to have a successful competitive future. Yeah, that happens in a lot of lower tier leagues. That's right. So my idea is to split up the ones that are having a hard time at the moment. So we will have. Mm, let's let's. Where's my note? Yeah, let's write right here. I would have Spain plus Portugal and that's one slash maps again thank you okay France is fine by by itself um, at best you could have France Luxembourg and Belgium there are going to be a bit of problems with with language but like I think Benelux is another region that will have an, a, a very hard time competing by itself. So I would do France plus Luxembourg and Belgium, and they will uh, will be able to compete like quite nice. So France plus Luxembourg plus Belgium. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, UK and Ireland, they, they're bad. They're bad, but they're fine of itself because there are, there's not going to be another English stream that can make uh, any anyone else happy. So yeah, that they're, they're fine. Mm -hmm. They're, yeah, fine, and also they're receiving much more support from Riot, even if, uh, yeah, this. Okay, let let's do this. I'm sorry. There is the multiple screen thing uh, that, yeah, this is much better. Yeah, sorry. Um, okay, uh, UK plus Ireland. Yeah, they are not a good league. They lack talent as much as in A because nobody wants to play there. And yeah, they're, that's another problem. It's not really related to uh, regional division, and I don't think that merging them with any other league will make them better. It would just make it harder, harder to move from one place to another. Then we would have, um, uh, yeah, um, Italy. Well. It's my league, so I can pretty much say it, it, it suck and it will suck more in 2020, but the language and the pool of players are sort of okay, so there, they, there is no way to merge it with other regions to, to make it better. So that's it. Germany, 
uh, Austria and Switzerland could also include uh, Netherlands the language is not really the same but like it it's it's going to be not as bad especially because um, there are some good uh, Dutch players and they can like fit pretty well in the German league and German league has some imports uh, ach du scheiße uh, you are from Aiken so uh, you know you know <laughs> they have popcorn in their throat is with um, yeah apples in the cheeks that's how we say uh, in our language um, the effect is the same and they they have a like pretty much tortured language I'm sorry for them uh, hot potato and but I think yeah you you are from Aiken so you, you I think Dutch people can understand some some German and if the cast would be, would be in, was in German it, it won't be as hard plus I don't think there will be many Dutch players in Premier Tour because uh, German players like say what you want but they're pretty good compared to the average of Europe so the level of Premier Tour is pretty high so it will be like um, Dach plus Dach no, what did I Dach but with a T, like, yeah, like this. Da, dach plus Dach. That's great. Dachen. Yeah. So, what's next? Uh, this is a mess, so I'll, we'll get to it later. I think... Uh, sorry, mister, I will have to move a bit some here. Okay, so... There's a big problem with Nordics, and the fact is that they are super shattered. It's like mm, ugly. And good thing they are going to be fixed, and they're going to get a new um, a new format for a Nordic Championship. We don't know the details yet, but it's going to be better for sure because being worse, it, it's not possible. But what I would like to see is something different because at the moment, Nordic League includes Denmark, Norway, Sweden and Finland and it doesn't make sense what would make sense is to include Denmark oh sorry it includes also Iceland so what would it make sense it's to include Iceland, Norway, Denmark and Sweden and you could stream probably in Swedish or Danish because both languages are going to be understood just as Finland uh, f not Finland sorry they're going to be understood almost as fine uh, by Norse, Norwegian players and Icelandic players with some difference of course Norwegian Championship has Icelandic teams in it I didn't know about this but I'm, I'm sure that like um, uh, yeah 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 I know I know and, and Dusty which is an um, Icelandic um, team got top 4 so Ice Iceland is, is doing actually great considering it's like the second split they joined the league that's so great but uh, the real problem is Finland because they speak a completely different language and force everyone else to listen the stream in English which cuts the viewership so much so what I'm saying is to make Nordics like this you have Iceland plus Norway plus Sweden plus Denmark Denmark yeah and then where do you put Finland you put Finland with Baltics because let, let's be fair like and had diamond for me <laughs> yeah sorry that's true it's not very high level because in Iceland there are literally 300,000 people so the like player pool is pretty small oh. um, yeah that's what you do with it. you have very little very few players mm. but Finland let's be fair nobody lives under this line here okay here is Tamper more or less so nobody lives up up here okay most people are just in this zone so it's closer to Baltic so we would have Lithuania, Le Letonia, uh, sorry, Latvia, Estonia with Finland to make Baltics. 
would it improve them as a region probably not because they're you're begging to be uh weren't you away so fin finland they can they can provide some good infrastructure and 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 well two plus baltics let me say you you would like to be merged with estonia for the cheap booze m more than swedes so that would uh finland has two good players only which is um a, a war or three Le let me just like i'm not i'm gonna let's just wait for the balkans to happen that's that's when okay belarus and ukraine i'm sorry but they are not europe so mm, poland is fine by itself i think ultraliga has a like stupid good quality probably one of the best amongst amongst all the the regions and i'm surprised that they didn't get into the riot support thing because it's like a really hard blow for them it's like ultraliga has done such a good job and i don't think they need to be merged with any other country maybe if you want to stretch it you could include uh slovak and czechs together with poland because their languages are sort of similar but what i would i would do it's like poland has a fine circuit on its own i would do uh czech republic slovak uh republic Slo slovakia slovakia and and Ungar hungary because hungary does not belong to balkans uh, at all yeah I, I like geography and and it's like just a proposal like some brainstorming on how to cut Europe uh, a, a bit better so we have like um, CZSK plus Hungary Let, let's let's just make a count how how much uh, how many are the regions at the point we have Spain and Portugal France like that two three four five six seven eight nine okay we're at nine regions so far so okay balkans is the the, the mess the messiest mess of all because the big problem is that croatian bosnian and serbians sort of speak the same language and f probably montenegro as well mm but everyone else speaks something else and it's really hard to to like make them agree and it, it, it the the casting of AB, ebl it's in serbian which means that all other countries are not going to be okay so my my idea i think it would be better to have slovenia croatia bosnia montenegro and serbia as the like eastern balkan I don't know what Albania I don't know where to fit them so to have wh where was it uh, yeah here it is so to have uh, Eastern Balkan then you have Moldavia I don't know if Moldavia has League of Legends because I have never heard of a player from Moldavia like Moldavia Romania Bulgaria well make them a region of them of, of their self of themselves will not be it would be a very weak league with very poor funds because romania and bulgaria are not going to be any better than portugal so i would say make them mix them together with um, a phyrum albania and greece to have like south so, sorry this is not eastern balkan this is western balkan yeah and then you have southeast balkans which is like again moldavia romania bulgaria Fyrum, uh albania and greece as far as i know there are no teams from moldavia so unless <laughs> unless something pops up uh, also all of a sudden romania has players but no teams so the actual issue would be like the, the actual competition will be played in this area which is reasonably uh you know restricted which is really good so we are now with uh 11 leagues which is better than 12 so yeah 
sorry better than 13 and yeah I, I think that's that's a much a more reasonable uh, division you could want you might want to if you want to make some sort of a stretch to make 12 leagues to include Tunisia Algeria and Morocco and Morocco to have sort of North African league that can compete in new masters that would be way better than have a Middle East nor no, 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 what, what is MENA Middle East North African League which would include this area it's not going to be playable for any server what if there is like a player living here and it has to move to serious not to Israel to have a competition that's a pretty long way but to compete in Europe it's a bit more reasonable nobody lives here by the way Let, let's say here yeah this is where people live in Algeria I think and th this distance is m much less doable than I don't know maybe to Madrid for, or to London yeah so I would I would like to have some sort of I don't know Maghreb region would it be would it be performing probably not at the start but like who knows maybe I think it can be better than just Portugal itself because it has a like larger pool of players for sh very likely so you have like 12 leagues now which are much better and yeah you can plan around those and I think those are probably more well distributed than how the, re the situation is is now so I hope I didn't get bored I didn't bore any anyone away too much I'm just going to set uh, the thing in the corner where it was let's put it uh, down yeah just like this so let me know if if um, if you agree or what what's sneaky to you about this uh, 12 league division I will just let it here while we talk about something else maybe yeah cool nice pro streamer by the way okay and what do we have uh, in plan I still have to finish my beer and to drink uh, to eat some uh, apple chips I think about this time everyone left I oh, know there's still a lot of people so what do you think about this new division what do you think? Answer please. I feel lonely. I'm back. Drinking on stream. Pretty nice. <clears throat> yeah, twelve is a is a very a very good number it's easier to plan for tournaments it's easy to divide them like you know if you choose four four leagues that have two seeds and eight leagues that have eight well like one team each that's 16 teams in total and you don't have to do stupid somersaults with seedings Eight is even better, of course, um, but with twelve, like um, you can also do some some good thing uh, with seeding. Uh, so you can have sixteen teams competing without stupid play-ins or brackets in a weird way, like the first edition of EU Masters. So, yeah, yeah, like um, yeah, they they are like. Uh, it's just a proposal and I'm, I'm not saying they will be uh, great or functioning but like at, at the moment uh, it's not like they're perfect anyway so yeah yeah it's like um, yeah um, Europe <laughs> divided Africa in the same way so 
Dagenel, France, Benelux, Poland, Iberia's top four. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that, that would be super balanced, probably. Mm. Mostly, uh, Perdolo, I was referring to language, languages, and geographical, uh, you know, availability. Uh, because in that way, except except for uh, the Balkan zone, everyone in the league speaks more or less the same language, which is like very ideal to make a stream. So, mm, yeah, also Baltics. Mm, Baltics uh, is going to be a problem, but that's because uh, Finnish people and Estonians people have... A very weird language so they won't understand latvians and Lithua lithuanians at all so you you if you want to keep the language thing uh, going on you would have to make just finland and estonia and latvia and lithuania but then it's like two weak leagues and it, it doesn't it, it's not competitive so yeah um well, another league division that it's going to be like risky is going to be the PCS that they're doing. That is uh, hard. Liechtenstein. I I would love to meet a player from Liechtenstein. I don't. It's even if it's like Silver Four. Just introduce me to him. I I would love to know him and to ask questions like, do you have a car? do you bike through your country and say i went from one end to the other in 13 seconds um how many what's the tallest mountain uh what's the biggest house uh how is your dog like any question like what do you do in Liechtenstein? like what's there why did you choose to be there do you do you move there willingly what like did you just have you just born there and just stayed because you didn't want to move? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Liechtenstein, I don't think it exists. It's so surreal. Like, how is one person going to answer all of the questions that I just made? Uh, Molly isn't. Yeah. People from places like that. How are they going to answer about such questions without looking like some fantasy book characters? It's it's going to be absurd. Yeah, these chips were really good, but like, there were so little of them. Yeah, too slow team. What can you get? Hmm. I don't want to get into the last topic of locally trained players. Because it's very messy. Mm. Maghreb counts South Italy too. Probably Sicily. Sicily would fit. Malta also. But I don't know any. What? What? What's from? Who's from Sicily? Probably Haruhiro. Just him. I know he's ah uh, Leask. Leask is from Palermo. Incredible. Big man Leask. Yeah. Mm. What else? I don't want to get in the la in the last topic of the list because it's like really long and I'm I mean I threw it up there because I, I'm interested myself and I would like to look it up, but it's really complicated and there are not so many certain sources about a locally trained resident so basically the most common thing that i heard is that one player that has played for two or more splits in a different european region 
can forfeit his own nationality, league speaking, like that's only about league, to com keep competing and not counting as an import in said league. Let's, let's, uh, Riot already divided them in major and minor with the contract change anyway. Yeah, it's, it's just like a st stupid number because you have like four majors and, and nine minors and it's it's hard it's hard to have nine minors plus uh, there are like three or four of those minors who are not going to be sustainable. Portugal is dead. Baltics are Baltics, and Italy is going to imp let's not say implode, but like in need of help. So stretching them would would allow for some like you know good uh, repartition of eventual funds. Hey, Quincy, how are you? How about giving? Okay, that would be good. Hmm. I have no idea if there are like good Swiss players. Hmm. Okay, most of Switzerland actually speaks Italian, so it, it could make sense. But in, in terms of competitiveness, it would be, yeah, like just a pat on the back. But like it, would, it could make sense, like it's just like moving Finland to Baltics. So, yeah, could be great. Let, let's, I like it. Like, let, let's make this one. Italy plus CH. And 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 da da plus da da Danl. Danl. That's cool. Sounds cool. Daniel. Daniel. That's a cool suggestion. It. I don't know if it would make a difference, but like it's a cool suggestion to make a e more evenly mm, d d divided. Hmm. If you want, if you like, would to push it, you could also add Slovenia to the mix because I, th I don't know, I'm, I'm not an expert. I would need to look it up, but like, I think Slovenian isn't as much close to Croatian, and some Slovenians speak uh, Italian due to the border, so that one might make sense as well. It's, it's a bit of more of a stretch, so I would, I would let it like this. So yeah, and if you want to make things even simpler, you could just have a big bunch like just Balkans and take away Maghreb if you want to make things even simpler. So you would have like um, two less regions and it would be 10 re regions. Still a bit harder to plan, but it's, even numbers are always better. So that that's also like, yeah, let's put in parentheses maybe. Yeah, I think it, it could be like anything is better than the 13. And creating more, splitting the ones that are already there, it would be very like not okay. It's going to be uh, some sort of, you know, an anti-focus of the resources from 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 anyone because talent if you play just in your like quarter there's going to be less talent than if you play in your country so that's the same reasoning the the, the more you divide the harder is the harder it is to be uh, competitive as a league so yeah small regions always have the disadvantage look at an a and yeah that's it, I think. I, I think, yeah, I'll, I'm here to answer some more questions if anyone likes uh, to ask something. And and if not, we, I might just like, yeah, go to sleep and, and uh, think about some more topics for maybe next week. So, yeah, if you want, ask, ask, me, ask me anything. AMA on Twitch.
Meanwhile, what can I talk about? Hmm. I really need to be. And you, my viewer, you wanted to know that. Ah. Impressive that I managed to stream from this connection. Well, it's not bad, but it's not great either. So, yeah, that's cool. And, yeb. Yeah, Was this boring? Was it eh, okay? Uh, if you don't have any questions, then go on with the advice, suggestions, critics, all is appreciated. This is my first dream. Uh, boobs, in a way, what is it in English? Tits or ass? Tits or ass? I am sorry, but I, I, I okay, I would answer eyes all the time, but if I have to choose among the two. I'm, I'm a teeth guy. Sorry. Uh, ass is great, but uh, bad boobs are still pretty good, while bad ass I I is just bad. So, on average, teeth are better. Crane sim. Balkans, why do not give uh, Fiume back to Italy? That's a good one. World War One does not forget. Should I put any music for the next time? Is it too silent when I'm silent? Incredible how many people are connected by mistake. I, I don't know, like, who who is Virgo Pros? Hello, Virgo Pros. I don't know about you, but I love that you tuned in. And, and, and Winsock and Zane Kieber, uh, Zane Kyber, uh, you read it to me, but and Lurks, and I don't know, another, uh, another TT viewer. I love you, just like you trusted me so much to, to tune in w without knowing who I am. So I love you, you're, you're the best. Yeah, Crinsy is also the best, and, and everyone who trusted me that, that I would not just talk shit. I'm talking shit, but like, uh, you're all the best. I, 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 I hope I did not get you bored even if I talked about so many different topics and I'm sure that at least one was not what you were looking for but there was not there was a lot of league even if we I didn't really talk about league but what's around league so um, yeah if if um, if you liked it just tell them I love any feedback even bad ones even you say ah uh, you scratch your head too much you don't look at the cam like uh, you suck, uh, shave your stash, um, you stream without cam because you're horrible, that, that's that's fine, I love any feedback, so just like, I would love to have a love. So, thank you for watching, uh, thank you for interacting with me, uh, because speaking alone would have been uh, much worse, and maybe uh, see you on the next time, I would try I would try, no, yeah, Chris, I appreciate the advice. Uh, I appreciate the advice, but I'm not going to take it. Uh, uh, it's Movember, it's no, not November, and you, everyone here lost it. So, feels bad, man. But anyway, um, I will try with my noob experience to upload it, to upload the, the recording. To YouTube and maybe if I can uh, put timestamps so if you want to rewatch some of the shit that I talked through 
well, you can enjoy shit twice. That's pretty bad. That's pretty good. And um, yeah, see you the next time. Uh, maybe next week, probably, uh, if I have some more topics that I want to talk about, if you liked it. And bye-bye and thank you for keeping me company.